What does a better job at helping out your CPU cooler? Thermal compound or thermal pad? Let's find out. I tested two thermal compounds and two thermal pads. Arctic MX4 thermal compound, Hainza thermal grease, Arctic half millimeter thermal pad, and the IC graphite thermal pad. For the thermal compounds, I used the pre-spreading method to ensure that the entire IHS was covered. For the test system, I used my ASRock X470 Tai Chi motherboard. The CPU was the Ryzen 5 2600 with an all-core overclock to 4.1 gigahertz, running at 1.3375 volts. The CPU cooler is the Fractal Design Celsius S24 running at full speed. The GPU is the Zotac GTX 1070 Mini. For the RAM, I used two 8 gig DIMMs of Corsair Vengeance LPX running at 3400 MHz. The power supply, I'm using the EVGA 650 GQ. For the OS drive, I have the 250 gig Western Digital Blue SATA 3 M.2 SSD. So my test was a 60 minute run of ADA64 system stability test where I was stressing the CPU, the FPU, and the cache. All the results are being shown as deltas. The Arctic MX4 had an idle delta of 4 degrees and an average temperature delta of 42.4 and had a max temperature delta of 52C. The Arctic thermal pad had an idle delta of 8 degrees C and had an average temp delta of fail and had a max temp delta of fail. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but it took all of three seconds for it to hit thermal limit and shut down. Now the Amazon listing and Arctic's own website indicates that this can be used for CPUs, but not very well in my testing or at all, I guess, in this case. I even tried using the up here AC12 RGB cooler to see if the mounting pressure had something to do with what was going on, but it didn't seem to make a difference. Next, I used the generic thermal grease and it had an idle delta of six degrees C and an average temp delta of 46.3 degrees C and a max temperature delta peak of 56 C. And finally, the graphite pad it had an idle delta of 3 degrees C and had an average temperature delta of 45 C. The maximum temperature delta peak was 55 C. The graphite pad landed pretty much where I expected it to in between the MX4 and the generic thermal grease. The temperatures weren't all that different between these products, except for the Arctic thermal pad that is, but putting that aside, the graphite pads perform quite well and has the added benefit of long life and reusability. But does that outweigh the performance gains you get when using the MX4? For most people, I would say no, and I would recommend the MX4 mainly because of the small performance gains you get. But also, the MX4 also has a very long curing time. Take this GPU. I added this thermal compound probably about three, four years ago, and it's still not cured. So MX4 does have a very long curing time and most people probably won't even notice or need to ever change the paste. But for people like myself and other tech YouTubers that are consistently changing things out, the graphite pad makes a lot of sense. Not having to clean up the mess and the pad can be simply reused again and again is a definite benefit, which is why going forward, I'll be using the graphite pad in my test bench. That's all for now. All the normal stuff. If you like the video, you know what to do. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.